for those that just joined, I'm Serge Belanji, Professor of Computer Science at University of Copenhagen and Director of the Pioneer Center for AI. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce the uh, next speaker, John Denby, the founder and CEO of Street Logic, a deep technical team that is building a computer vision based e bike collision warning system. Prior to founding Street Logic, Jonathan advised Uber's Nemo Jump Robotics Group through the development of computer vision systems for jump scooters and was the head of hardware at Rilo, the world's first 360 degrees action sports camera. Please welcome to the virtual stage, John Denby. Hello, I'm Jonathan Denby, founder and CEO over here at Street Logic. And I'm here to talk to you about transportation, uh, in particular, the most exciting trend in transportation that's happening right now, and it's taking the world by storm. You might think I'm talking about electric cars. I'm not, because while they are fun to drive and they like to take a lot of media attention, electric cars really have yet to have started taking off. But there's another vehicle type out there that is growing much more quickly than the, than the electric car, and that's e-bikes. I'm talking about normal utility vehicles with a battery and a motor like this, or an e-bike for bringing your kids to school, or for doing deliveries around a city, or just for getting yourself to work. Bikes like this have been growing rapidly over the last five to 10 years, and are now outselling electric cars by over eight to one. And in some countries like the Netherlands, they've grown so quickly that now they're the majority bike type sold. Over 50% of bikes in the Netherlands sold today have some kind of lightweight battery and motor att attached. This is awesome. And it makes sense because most trips are short trips. Over 75% of the trips that you do on a daily basis are under 10 miles, which is perfect for a bike. And bikes are the fastest way to move around a city. These are just taken from Google directions in San Francisco. And if you take the current growth curves for e-bikes and project them out five to 10 to 15 years, not only will e-bikes continue to outsell electric cars, but they'll outsell normal cars by over two to one. And this is great. But if we reach this future potential, we'll have a massive problem on our hands because if you ride a mile on an e-bike versus a car, you're 51 times more likely to get into a fatal crash. Now, think about the US for a second. If we reach market saturation in the US, so say 300 million e-bikes in the US, and take a conservative estimate for how much you're riding it, so just a third of your trips on an e-bike, so just the short trips, that would result in over 250,000 fatalities per year in the US alone on an e-bike that would become the number three leading cause of deaths in the States. This alone would prevent e-bikes from reaching their true market potential. This alone would prevent e-bikes from becoming a household commodity that's in everybody's garage. Cars went through a similar crisis at the first half of the 20th century. They rose quickly through early adopters, but then stagnated for over three decades. Fortunately, in 1949, Ford started shipping seatbelts standard in all of their automobiles. And that alone was enough to cause an inflection point to resume the growth and vault cars to be the household commodity that we know today. So I've talked a lot about e-bikes, exciting growth up into the right graphs, but like how does computer vision fit into this? Like how does street logic fit into this? It's because here at Street Logic, we're aimed at making sure that e-bikes have their seatbelt moment. And we're doing that through computer vision. We have a team of self-driving car engineers who left the self-driving car industry because they're more passionate about bikes. And we're taking the smarts, the algorithms, the capabilities of a self-driving car and miniaturizing it, downsizing it, cramming it into a form factor that can fit on an e-bike. And it's a surround view vision system that scans in 360 degrees, 250 million points per second, and can detect the presence of an oncoming vehicle in any direction. So it knows when there's a car rapidly approaching you from the rear like this. 
it knows when there's a car from your side about to hook you from the side. And it knows when there's a car stopped ahead of you in the bike lane, so like an Uber or a Lyft letting somebody out. And in each of these cases, it will give you an early warning, like four to six seconds in advance. And those four to six seconds are enough for you to take evasive action and keep yourself and your family safe. So here at Street Logic, we're aimed at making sure that e-bikes have their seatbelt moment so that they can reach their true market potential over the next five, 10, 15 years. So that when you're riding down the street in five, 10, 15 years and weaving through a bunch of vehicles, instead of weaving through our herd of cars like this, you'll be joining a multitude of other e-bikers on the road, all cycling forward into a brighter future. Thanks.